Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, greatly appreciate you choosing this video to view. Hey, what we're talking about today, what I'm going to share with you is a product. I'm not trying to sell it to you. I don't have a link in my description, so I'm not getting anything from this. I'm just sharing you something that I think works phenomenally and it's a great product. I bought it because I wanted to do a uh, polishing on my triggers, on my pistols, but I was sitting here today. I was like, I, I got a, a buck knife collection. I was like, I want to clean up the brass and the nickel bolsters and stuff on my knives. So let me try it on there. This is the product right here. It's that Flitz polish. Maybe you've heard of it before. I don't know. It's the first time I've heard of it. Uh, anyway, I gave it a try. Let me turn this camera around. Let me show you what it does. So as I said, it's Flitz polish. It's an all metal polish. Um, you know, you can look it up, but it's brass, copper, a whole list of different things on here that it'll polish. Chrome, nickel, bronze, solid gold, aluminum. That's just a few. But it also, but it safely removes tarnish, rust, water stains, chalk and lime deposits, heat uh, discoloration, lead and powder residue, oxidation, fingerprints. Uh, simple to use. Uh, you shake it, you shake the product up, you put it on a cloth, you put it on the on on the object you want to clean, and then you take a microfiber cloth or some other cloth and, and it's supposed to buff it out or wipe it off. Um, so I'm doing this on my buck knives, my brass, you can see kind of, they're all tarnished and everything. All those I've done already. So you can see those babies sparkle and that did not take any effort at all. I usually use brass, uh, brass soda to, uh, polish the brass. Uh, this side I've already done right here with this product. Uh, this I have not up here in the front. I've done the, the back bolsters here. I haven't done the, uh, the front on these. And all it is, uh, I got a little bit there in the cap. I got a Q-tip and you can see that Q-tip has been wore out with those. Uh, I just put some of that product on there and then I, I just rub it on, you just rub it on. Uh, they said you can polish it in uh, and they said, don't let the product dry. Uh, but anyway, get all that brass right there. Man, I love these buck knives. They look good, the brass and everything. Let me see, get a little bit more here. Uh, Put on this side. There we go. It doesn't take much. It really don't. And you see, I'm just putting it on with a Q-tip. I'm not rubbing it in. I'm not, or I'm rubbing it in, but I mean, I'm not forcefully rubbing it in. Um, and there we go. And the only thing I'm using is a, uh, a shop towel, uh, you know, a shop paper towel. And you just wipe the stuff off. Uh, or that's all I've done is wipe it off, buff it a little bit. You know, I'm just trying to get in all those crevices right there. Let's see, get on this crevice here. Um, let's see, right there. And look at that baby shine. Just that little bit of effort. Brasso used to take me forever to try to do. And then Brasso, I'd have to use a, uh, you know, a Dremel, you know, a Dremel tool to uh, polish it up with this, you don't have to. You don't have to use the drill, you just do it just like I showed you. As far as, uh, you know, the brass uh, and nickel, I've done it on nickel as well. Is this a nickel one? I've done it on nickel as well. You can see it's polished up pretty pretty nice there. Uh, here, we can do, here's a nickel one. I haven't polished this one yet. Uh, so you can see the fingerprints and all the tarnishes that don't rub off. So we'll just use the remaining bit right here. We'll put it on there. Let's see. I feel like an infomercial or something, but no, I just, I, I just got this yesterday. I said, let me try it. It worked phenomenally. I was like, well, let me share it. Uh, because it's really, really good. I can't wait to do the trigger job, uh, later on this afternoon and, uh, see how well it polishes up those parts. It makes a difference on the trigger. Uh, make sure y'all come back and see that video. It'll be out. In, I don't know, maybe today or tomorrow or a few days anyway. All right. So anyway, there it is. There's a before, there's after. And then that, you know, that's before it ain't coming off that stuff. That's a tarnish and everything. And then there's the after. I just did a, just put it on there with a Q-tip, wipe it off. It's pretty phenomenal. All right, y'all take care.